Reasoning is a dangerous activity if you don't know its limits. But if you know its limits, it becomes an adventurous activity. Reasoning, thinking is just like moving this hand. It is a rapid activity. It is movement of packets of knowledge and memory known as thoughts. So what would happen if you don't know the limits of movements of your hand? You will try to catch that, this. You will try to hold that which is meters away from your hand. Because you don't know its limits, you will try to hold everything in it. And in that serious trying, you will miss the complete enjoyments of other activities and energies of life. But if you know the limits of movements of this hand, you will not try to hold that which is not in the range of movement of hand. You will only use this movement of hand to evaluate to hold that which is in its range. And now you can also use the remaining time and energy in complete enjoyment of the adventures of other movements of your life too like playing, tasting, listening etc. Earlier that extra movements of hand was hindering the complete enjoyment of other movements due to its constant unnecessary movements to hold everything in it. Just like movements of hand is limited to a particular distance, Reasoning is also limited to finite knowledge and memory. It can only evaluate that which is present in its knowledge. But how can you evaluate the vast mystery of existence that is infinite? Mystery of existence cannot be demystified because it is beyond words and symbols. It is beyond your limited ideas of birth, death, reason, God, etc. And it is better that it remains as a mystery because if existence gets demystified, the joy of wonder will stop. Then you have destroyed the joy of seeking godliness and oneself of your future children. And I think this is the reason why existence is not revealing itself to reasoning. It doesn't want to destroy wonder and fascination.